Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part 7 of Sonic Rush Adventure. Uh, so we're now we're at the Blizzard Peaks boss fight, and honestly, this is actually my favorite boss fight in the whole entire game. Uh, it's not really all that challenging, but I just love the idea behind it. We are fighting the Ghost Whale, and we're stranded on this little iceberg, and all we have to do is let the thing ram the iceberg, and then knock him in the head, and he will open up. And once he opens up, we go inside the whale, and we have to attack his insides uh, before the countdown goes down. And while we're doing this, it's basically a platformer. You know, we're just running through, jumping on missiles, uh, running through badniks, and uh, we have to make sure that we hit the switch before the timer goes down. Otherwise, that will end badly. Uh, so, I just love that. You know, once you hit the insides, he spits you back out, puts you back on the ice platform again and he'll keep sending fish and stuff and while he charges at you just get out of the way stay at the back jump when he hits I think there's a ground pound effect maybe it's hard to tell sometimes I feel like the hit detections off where either I have to be on the ground and, he, and I get hurt or I was just way too close to the front I can't really remember but I just jump uh, as a force of habits but uh, you know again I just like it it's part boss fight part platformer and there's a time limit and stuff but inside the whale they actually have all these switches uh, these little dark blue switches that you can hit that increase the timer back to 30 seconds so if you feel like you're running out keep an eye out for those switches because once you hit them uh, you'll get yourself an extra bit of time and uh, that's always swell it's always going to be the same predetermined layouts every time you play the boss fight uh, the third layout is by far the hardest, because that's when your jumping starts to count. Uh, that's when you have to start jumping on the missiles more. The missiles will hurt you if they hit you dead on. Uh, so you kind of have to watch where you jump at them from, you know? You make sure you jump on top of them and not on the front of them. Uh, but honestly, I just love it, you know? And w while this is happening, while I'm on the inside of the ghost whale, the top screen is just showing the whale uh, from from after I went inside of him, you know. Uh, so, you know. I don't know. It's, it's not stupid challenging or anything, but I just like the idea behind it. It's very interesting, very unique. I always like when they make a platformer out of the boss fight, you know. Ah-choo! So when he has one more hit to go, well, he's just lying there, really, and you just jump into him and boom! That is the Ghost Whale. Pretty fun idea. I really think it's... I think it's fun to uh, play, so, you know. Ghost Whale. Love it. Loves it. Yeah, it be a wee bit chilly here. Let's be getting back home where it be warm, mateys. Yar. Oh, Captain Whisker. If there's one thing he's good at, it's slipping through our fingers. You've already comment on, commented on this. You already commented, he's. if there's one thing he's good at, it's running away. Well, now you just said he's slipping through your fingers, which pretty much means getting away, running away. I've had this conversation before, damn it. <laughs> Is the dialogue and the script that repetitive? Bah. So I think they're polar bears, the Vikings? They look like polar bears, I guess. Cartoony polar bears. But they could be just albino humans that are fat? I don't know. This viking's name is Norman. You don't expect vikings to be called Norman, that's all. Like maybe Thor? Thor? Thor the Viking? How about Eric? Stigglefoffin the Viking. Stigglefoffin. S T I G L L P H U F E N N. Stigglefoffin. That is a name I just made up. And you can copyright it if you want. I don't care. I'm, hand I'm letting that one out for free. You can have that one, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not going to lie, uh, the rest of this video, there's a lot of Aqua Blast gameplay, the hovercraft, and uh, we visit Hidden Island too, 
Other than that, we don't see the next zone in this level, so you can feel free to turn the video off. <laughs> Not every YouTuber will say that. Not every YouTuber will go, Eh, you can skip this video, guys. I, I don't care. But... Honestly, that, this is the thing about Sonic Rush Adventure. There's a lot of lapses in gameplay, you know? It just, they add so much story and so much of the exploring, sailing around, finding hidden islands and stuff. It's nothing wrong with it, but, you know, that is this game. If this were Sonic Rush 1, if this were Sonic Advance, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I'd be at the next level already. But, you know... Some people want the character building, some people want the atmosphere and the story, and eh, what can I say? It's alright. But, uh, this is the Aqua Blast, you know. Again, I, I don't feel like any of the water levels ever get significantly harder. Uh, this is as hard as it gets every time from what I've played. So, you know... The thing about traversing and looking for things is that you don't really feel like the water sections get harder or anything, so it just sort of feels like you're just sort of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And when you have to grind for materials to rebuild water crafts, you are doing the same things over and over again. Like, Plant Kingdom is not that hard of a level. It's the first level, but if I need green material for a craft, I gotta play it again. I'll be bouncing on those mushrooms again, letting that tree thing grab me and swing me up into the rings again. What was up with that, by the way? In Plant Kingdom, there was this log monster, this Ent. Tree? I am no tree. Uh, but there's an <laughs> there's an Ent who grabs Sonic and flings him around. What's up with that tree? I mean, now we know this is Blaze's dimension, the Soul Dimension. What the fuck was up with that tree? Do the trees speak? Are they alive in this world? And again, this is the soul dimension. I mean, there must be so many huge differences from Sonic's dimension. And Sonic's dimension is already pretty fucked up, let me just tell you. I mean, Sonic's dimension has a water god. It has two... Two creatures known as Light and Dark Gaia inside the planet, protecting the planet, or and or destroying the planet. Uh... It has a, a floating continent, like the Lost Hex, just sort of floating in the sky. Sonic's world is kind of fucked up. And then you go into outer space, and there's like Planet Wisp and the Black Doom Army, the Black Arms, and it's just like... What's going on? Could you imagine the Soul Dimension having all kinds of things like that? Like, Soul Dimension has like the White Arms. White aliens, you know? And there's this artificial cat named Whiteout the Cat. <laughs> Whiteout the Cat and his 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 friend Mario who got shot by the military. Mario! Whiteout the Cat. For everyone who lives in this old dimension. Give them a chance to be happy! Woohoo! <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, this commentary is kind of random. But what, look what I'm doing! I'm talking to people, I'm sailing around. Daikin, one of the new Coconut Crew koalas, just gave me a mission. And I'm not gonna do that mission because it's just gonna unlock something like a lighthouse for my village. Who cares? It's not important to the story, I don't need to do it. I'll be showing that stuff off later, you know. I'll be showing when I get, like, Sonic statues and stuff on Windmill Village uh, and do missions. Uh, I'm not going to show the missions, though. There are a hundred in the game. Huge replayability factor with this one. That's a good thing about this game. You'll be playing this a long time if you purchase it. Because there's lots of backtracking to grind for materials. There's lots of missions to do. And you'll be sailing and sailing and sailing and sailing again. So you'll just keep on playing it. Charge Shot is super satisfying though. Oh my god. Isn't the Charge Shot amazing?
But you can use that idea. White out the cat. Basically, opposite Shadow the Hedgehog. Made by the blood of the White Arms alien race. His best friend Mario was shot by... By, um... What's a good opposite for gun? By sword! <laughs> he was shot by the sword organization. Damn you, sword! And there's the sword commander who has two different hair colors. And he's like totally racist against white people. <laughs> anyway, this is Hidden Island 2. I blinked and it's over. Like I said before, all of the hidden islands, they're just like, there are 16 of them, and they're just like these little bonus levels that you can run into. Uh, like, the one I'm playing right now is mandatory. I have to go to Hidden Island 2 in order to unlock the next zone, and to unlock this cutscene. So this was a mandatory hidden island. Uh, but again, there are a whole bunch that aren't mandatory, that you have to play, or you don't have to play, but you'll run into, and some of them are pretty fun. One's a throwback level, which I think is pretty neat, but we'll see that hidden island later. Um, and uh, in order to get the soul emeralds for Blaze, I kind of have to find the hidden islands as well. Like, when I do emerald collecting, I will also be looking for Johnny, but I also have to find all the hidden islands. Not only to show them off to you guys, uh, but because some of Blaze's soul emeralds are on hidden islands, and you have to discover those islands in order to get the chance to get the emeralds, so yeah. Again, once I clear the last zone, there's going to be a huge exploration part of this game, and I hope you guys are along the ride for the entirety of it. We'll be sailing a lot. And you'll be here with Captain Clement. Captain Great Clement. And I'll be soothing your eardrums with my fabulous voice. My fabulous voice. Yeah, and Marine did once again move to statue when everyone told her not to. And I know it didn't get her killed. But god damn it, she doesn't listen. This is the second time. But she has unlocked the new zone, Sky Babylon. So it's a floating chunk in the sky. It has a whole bunch of ancient ruins and gold material on it. So it's a pretty fancy place. And I know what you're thinking, in Sonic's dimension, there was Babylon Garden, which also floated in the sky and was home to uh, Jet the Hawk, Storm the Albatross, Wave the Swallow, the Babylon Rogues. So is this like Soul Dimension Babylon Rogues? We don't meet anyone on this rock. We don't meet anyone except Captain Whiskers. So is there an opposite dimension Jet the Hawk who lives on Sky Babylon that we never run into on this game? Or is this supposed to be like the opposite floating island? The opposite Angel Island? Ah! <laughs> Maybe Sonic Team is just having a hard time coming up with ideas. <laughs> what would opposite Jet the Hawk be? The opposite of a bird would probably be a fish. And the opposite of a jet would be a... Coolant? <laughs> it's Coolant the Blowfish. I don't know. Any shocking, Captain Whiskers shown up yet again. Him and his pirates are here yet again. And you can bet when we play Sky Babylon, we're probably going to be fighting a lot of bad nicks. Story's a bit repetitive, I gotta be honest. Like, if you're going to force a lot of story on us, just make sure it's not super repetitive or anything. I mean, yeah, though, Captain Whiskers here, going to have to kick his ass. What are the odds he's going to run away after I beat this zone? Take a wild guess. 
whether Captain Whisker is going to run away. But I don't want to pay attention, Whisker! <laughs> Nothing happens in this video. I told my viewers to move on to part 8, which hasn't been uploaded yet, but will be uploaded probably when everyone's watching this. Hi. This is what makes this game not as good as Sonic Rush 1, in my opinion, anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be checking out Sky Babylon, the sixth zone, in part 8.